now, yext. No, yext. Yext, I am having yext on the show next. Please welcome Howard Lerman, CEO and founder of Yext. Let's talk business. Yext. Yext provides the best local search results by syncing data from the internet so that you can always find the right address, phone number, or other information for local businesses. Howard Lerman is the co-founder and CEO of Yext. Well, here we are with Howard Lerman of Yext. So how are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing, Jesse? Good, good. So tell me, what is Yext? The name Yext comes from the next Yellow Pages. Um, and if you think of the old Yellow Pages, it was one place that people used to look for a local business. We're not a consumer-facing company. We're a B2B company. And we've got okay. a product called Power Listings. And Power Listings is a hub of local information. And what it does is it's really simple. It syncs your business listings for large and small businesses across 36 premium sites like Yelp or Yahoo or MapQuest. Wow. And just like Dropbox syncs your files everywhere, right. the X Power Listing syncs your local information across a, a network. And no one has mastered that like sort of filtering through the noise thing. You know, so, but it sounds like you guys are. Right. And so we serve businesses that want to make sure that the correct information and the most recent information appears across all the sites that we work with. How many businesses are you working with? It's like 35,000 or it's something? Close to like 40,000 now. Oh, my, high five. <laughs> awesome. Do you know what the first company that you started working with was? I have no idea. You have no idea. It's, honestly, it was probably our VCs that signed up first. <laughs> like, so what the hell like, is this thing? Do you go, and are you going and pitching these companies? individually? Actually, no. Okay. Primarily, we work with large and small businesses, but right. a small business can find, uh, can run a local search score at yex.com oh. um, to see how they look on all those sites now. Okay, okay. And then they can just buy and self-serve right there. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And you guys are making money, right? Yep. yep. That's amazing. That's, you're just, you're way ahead of the game. I this. don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. We have linear growth. I'd like to see geometric growth, you know, like you see from Airbnb and Facebook. We're not a social company. Um, that will so come though. How new are you? We started power listings about nine months ago and okay. we've seen huge traction in this product since then. But okay. we have our we have deep roots in local. We started with pay per call advertising and we founded the company in actually the end of 06 and started building up our first business and power listings in doing so we built a pretty big business, but we saw a lot of huge problems in the industry. Information is a mess. People, you know, are the, the data aggregation problems, there's all kinds oh of challenges. Oh my God, I can't yeah. even imagine. Well, that's why you find the wrong, the wrong information on Google Maps a lot. You yeah. look up local businesses. It's totally true. Right. What's like the biggest obstacle that you recall having to overcome? Whew. I, you know, there, oh, every day, every day, in many ways, I, I, you, you sort of thrive off that and you, you thrive off the energy. But, you know, I, the, the, the answer is every day we have new obstacles and challenges and every day we work to overcome them. So you must just stay very positive. We see the glass as one tenth full or one one hundredth full. Oh, right, um, right. As, as we build it. It as, is a full glass. It is a full <laughs> glass. And it's just like a little drop of water in there. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. I think it's really important to stay positive as an entrepreneur, as you know. Tell me a little about the tech scene in New York, because we're here in New York, which is kind of fun. <laughs> you know, it's it's different than in Silicon Valley, but I think it's booming. It, it's booming. I mean, there's a lot of energy here. It's it's different, though. I think you see a big focus on ad tech. Um, Interesting. And, and, and there's less of a focus on consumer. There are some awesome consumer types yeah. of things, but there is a huge focus on ad tech, and that's because you have the advertising budgets here. Right, that's right. Because you have the advertising budgets here. I can only think that Facebook opening an engineering office here is going to be a huge boom. Oh, really, yeah. the big thing was when Google opened their engineering office here because yeah. it legitimized New York as a place for engineers, the top engineers, to come. And right. so the, the, they come here and they leave Google and they start their own stuff and there's an angel community. And so that has been a huge facilitator, a huge enabler of, of this. Yeah, there is an angel community out here, right? There's VCs. And oh, totally. So there's all the things you'd need for a great you know, company out here. There's, there's totally. the money, there's the, you know, the talent. There's the money, there's the talent. You can even occasionally run into Ron Conway in the streets here, like, oh. I, like, I, te like I tend to do. And when you see him hanging out at the Standard Hotel or you see him walking up Park Avenue, you know that New York has made it. Oh, tot <laughs> totally, I agree. Well, so let's talk about mobile. Let's do it. How are you working with mobile? Well, so the first thing is that our whole business is predicated on there being continued fragmentation and people looking for local businesses. Right. And every time there's a new mobile app, like Foursquare, yeah. that helps us. And so customers that sign up for power listings 
we set up a listing for them in Foursquare and sync with their listing on Foursquare, for example. Totally. And so now our customers have presence there. And so we love seeing new mobile apps because it gives us more places to sync the information. What's up and coming that you want to tell us about, or you can tell us? About? Ooh, well, you know, I think you're going to see a huge focus on on services and software that we have to help not just small businesses, but companies with thousands of locations. Okay. And I'll just leave you with that. Um, Very mysterious. Yeah. I like it. It will get it will get all the wheels turning. <laughs> if you think the local information syncing problem is tough for a business with one location to keep it straight on. Foursquare, Yahoo, and, and all those different places. Imagine how hard it is for a company with hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of locations. Right. Wow. And I want to make sure that every time you look on your mobile app uh -huh. to find a local business that you find the right information. And as stores open or close or get bought or sold or change their hours of operation or add new store managers, pictures, deals, we want to make sure that it's to everyone right away. I think you're growing. I think we're going to see lots of yikst. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, do you say yext and no to everything at the office? <laughs> do you like only answer questions with yext? With like the word like yext? Like, like yext, I, yext we can. So you're a musician. Yes. So what do you what do you play? Piano, guitar. I can pick up a you know bass, you know guitar. You can just kind of so stuff. you're you're very musical. A little bit, yeah. I think there's a correlation between between that and 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 sci the sciences and, and wanting to build. Stuff. I I agree. I think so totally. too. I, are you in a band or anything? Are you doing <laughs> not anything anymore? Like that? Not no. anymore. When I get too frustrated at work, I'll go home and you know write and a jam. song about how how somebody messed up at work that day and improvise the lyrics or you know be frustrated about how a certain partner won't work right or something. Thing, so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good place to channel your energy. You just got to come out with that CD. The Phantom of the Business Listings. So you've had quite a lot of entrepreneurial experience. Yes. What is one tip you would give to an entrepreneur starting out? Oh well, be willing to change constantly. Iterate, iterate, iterate. I mean, the reality is that by far the most important decision you make is your team. Who, who, you, who, who you put against what market. Okay. And go after a huge market with an amazing team. And, and the odds of you having it right out of the gate are very low. Right. Are very low. But as you understand the market and build domain expertise in the market, you can iterate and fill the gaps in your product or try new products and really get to, yeah. to the use cases that stick. Right. And, and then kind of develop from there. So willingness to change is the most, if I had to summarize it down to one thing, willingness to iterate, react, and come out with new stuff is the most important thing. I think that's a really, really good piece of advice. I feel like when you, you know, when entrepreneurs create a business plan, it never ends up that way. And often like the activity of creating the business plan, it's just some, it can occasionally be time wasted because it's like, well, it's, it changes. I've given up writing business plans. I know that's what I feel. I, like. I, I feel like why? Because it's never going to go that way. You're, you're you're exactly right. You know, you 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 make a model, which is your spreadsheet, to say how you're going to make money. Right. But your strategy to get there and marketing. I mean, you can write if it helps you organize your immediate tactical plan. But totally. trying to see how things are looking in three years is not really a fruitful effort. I've found. It's probably more productive to write a song about it. <laughs> that would be more of an opera, a saga. <laughs> it'd be, it would be a it would be a, a tragedy. <laughs> I feel like we should sing some opera. Oh, Do you want to sing that. some? Oh, I, I, I'm not sure that. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into yeah, it. Yeah, it walked right into the trap. <laughs> we'll, we'll have we'll have to do that some other time. Yeah, well, it'll be like Yext Take Two, the opera. <laughs> Yext Take Two, the opera. Yes. Nice. Well, okay. So one of the things that I think a lot of entrepreneurs have to do is elevator pitches. Yes. Because you know, okay, who knows if you're going to bump into an investor in the elevator? Who knows? And hopefully if you do, it's a long ride. Well, should we try some elevator pitches? Let's do it. Excuse me. Are, are you famous VC, Jesse Draper? <clears throat> I might be. I'd like to give you an elevator pitch on my business. The first thing I'd like you to know is that I have a huge market opportunity. We serve local businesses. We sync their local information across 36 sites. There are 20 million business locations in the United States, and we want to provide a $500 annual subscription service to all of them, representing a $10 billion annual market opportunity. We have an awesome team of engineers going after this huge opportunity. We've sold 40,000 listings already, and, uh, and we're making money, and we're looking for investors. What's your name? My name is Howard Lerner. <laughs> Let me give you my card, Howard. Thanks. <laughs> I have to find it. Thanks. How do I get in touch with you? <laughs> Here's my card. Okay. Yeah. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Howard Lerman of Yext. Yext, you are.
And now it's time for your ditz moment. Sounds fantastic. That was the best elevator pitch I've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs>